Welcome to another episode of Crypto News. So I know I've been away for a while. Uh, lots of stuff has happened. Uh, my power supply crashed, uh, which then I got my PC back after they fixed the power supply. But it was sort of messed with my hard disk. So my hard disk kind of crashed. And then it corrupted all the, the place where all my videos for my YouTube is. So I lost my intro. You can see I've got a new intro now. Uh, I've lost everything, all my sound files, all the video files that I did editing on YouTube with. And I, of course, I didn't have Windows. So I had to restart and redo everything from scratch again before I could upload another video. But I'm here. Uh, it's been a month. And we know that in the crypto space, things change a lot. So, you know, obviously a lot has changed in the last one month since I've been away. But I turned on my computer and looked at the chart today and I realized that's not true. In the last one month, practically nothing has changed. So it wouldn't have made much of a difference whether I have uploaded or not. Um, one of the things that's interesting though, is that you can see here from the chart. Okay, let's try and zoom out. This is the hourly chart. So let's zoom out to like uh, the four hour chart. It's a little neater, I guess. A little nicer to look at. Uh, you can see here, this is a clear ascending triangle. All right. So an ascending triangle might be that this is a wedge. This is a, a possible uh, wedge right here. But personally, I actually think that this is a uh, a triangle with a flat top. So what do you call this? You call this an ascending triangle, I believe. So um, what I actually think, looking at the technical analysis here, is that it's probably still going to bounce on this line and it's going to go higher and higher until it eventually tests this line. We've got another resistance uh, somewhere around here. So at somewhere around the 4,000 mark, this is also uh, another resistance here. Uh, let's, let's try it. Yep. So something like this, okay, I can let's delete this. I've got, I've got a horizontal line. Why am I using that? All right, so this horizontal line here, this is another resistance here, but we're coming close to the end of this triangle, whether it's somewhere at the top or whether it's here. Um, by the end of April, we will know for sure whether we're breaking upwards or breaking downwards. Now, as per technical analysis, you can actually see that most of the time, tech, um, Ascending triangles like this, it's a bullish pattern. So when it's a descending triangle, it's bearish. When it's an ascending triangle, it is bullish. Up here, it was a descending triangle and it broke downwards. So in theory, if this is an ascending triangle, it should break upwards. Actually, Bitcoin is looking bullish. Um, seems to be making higher lows, always higher lows. Um, it doesn't seem to be able to... Uh, break past this support line. So all of this is looking very, very bullish. And today we're above 4,000. What's hilarious though, is that I have actually been watching a lot of YouTube channels uh, and a lot of YouTubers. It's weird. Like everybody's saying it's going to go up. It's going to go down. It's going to go up. It's going to go down. And every time it breaks downwards, oh, there it is. We're going to 3,000 guys. We're going to 3,000. This is the crash. Oh, it's crashing to 3,000. And then it recovers and they're like, oh, actually, you know what? We're looking bullish. We're looking bullish. We're probably going to go up. Oh, no, it's crashing. Oh, we're looking bullish. You know, it's like the YouTubers that are doing technical analysis are just going back and forth based on any small movement. All right. So technical analysis wise, looking at this, this is a bullish pattern. Uh, there's nothing for me uh, looking at this to indicate that this is actually bearish. And if you look at the, uh, the EMA cross, and this is something that I have... Uh, mentioned previously as well. Uh, I like to look at EMAs because I find that they are quite accurate. So um, I'm going to actually delete the Bollinger Bands and I'm going to add one more EMA. Uh, okay, all right. So exponential moving average. All right. So uh, this EMA by default is actually at nine, but I'm just going to make it 10, all right? Okay. So if you look at the EMA, the 10 EMA, right? Okay. The last time this crossed was sometime back here in August. And as long as the 10 EMA is below the 50, it basically means that it is bearish. If it's above, that means that it is bullish. You can see here when it's above, it is bullish. And when it's below, it is bearish. 
Now looking at it here, it has crossed. It's crossed above and the 50 uh, daily EMA is giving support to it right now. It seems to be bouncing off the 50 EMA and right now it looks like we are actually about to cross. So the 10 uh, daily EMA is about to cross the 100 daily EMA and this is another bullish sign for me. So the longer we actually stay in this pattern, the more bullish we become. Moving sideways doesn't necessarily mean that you know we're just going to move sideways and it's not bullish or bearish. If you look at the EMAs, you can clearly see that it's becoming more and more bullish. So could it break downwards? Sure it can. This is crypto, man. Doesn't necessarily mean the market is going to um, definitely follow what technical analysis shows. If you could predict the future with technical analysis 100% of the time, you know, there would be no guessing. Everybody would know exactly when to buy and when to sell. But looking at the technical analysis with the EMA crosses and the way the triangle patterns are being formed, this looks very bullish to me, okay? So I personally think that we are probably headed upwards at least temporarily, and then, you know, probably we'll retrace downwards and go back up again. But how high are we going to go? It's kind of hard to say. Um, we might actually uh, go and test the 200 daily EMA. That's my target. So the 200 daily EMA is somewhere around 4,600, okay? So that's my target. I think if we break above this, um, if we actually hit this, uh, we'll we might get a resistance. If we don't, insanely bullish, insanely bullish. Um, then we can start to look at the weekly EMAs at that point. If we break past the daily EMA, uh, the 200 daily EMA, the next stop is the weekly uh, EMA of, uh, let's see here, yeah, the weekly 50 EMA. So that's somewhere around 5,200, okay? And if we break past that, then we're definitely bullish. I think a new bull run is on the way. Now, uh, I don't see this happening soon. I don't see any excitement happening soon to propel this from happening because how a lot of whales behave is that they got to wait for some big news and then pump Bitcoin because it has to seem as if that positive news is what's causing the spike in Bitcoin and this will cause other people to then jump on. So they got in early, the news is released, Everybody thinks that the pump is because of the news. More people get in, boom, the thing starts to spike, right? Okay, so one of the big news that uh, everybody's waiting for is, of course, the Van X Solid X ETF. Uh, there are several deadline days. Um, April 6th, very likely, it's going to be extended. Now, provided there's no more government shutdowns, uh, the final deadline is going to be October 18th. And personally, I think this is when we might actually see the next bull run happen, sometime around October. How high are we going to get? Um, the uh, CEO of BitMEX, okay, look at this guy, man, Arthur Hayes, okay, so he's just printing money, this guy. Look at his face. If I was printing money, I'd be that happy too, right? So CEO of BitMEX says that uh, we'll probably test 10,000 in 2019. However, he has also echoed what I said uh, in a sense that it's not going to take off anytime soon. Majority of crypto investors have lost too much and won't be too quick to get back into the game. Um, so he actually thinks that it's probably going to be uh, early quarter four, which will, by coincidence, be, uh, coincide with the uh, Van Eck ETF. So it's weird how things in the real world actually uh, coincide with technical analysis. Sometimes I feel like these guys are planning it. Uh, <laughs> Planning it in advance. Let's do it on this date because it'll look nice on the charts, right? Um, looking at the crypto charts as well, a lot of altcoins are actually uh, doing pretty well. All right, so you can see the crypto market cap is slowly uh, climbing up. Got to 146, so 150 billion is about another resistance. But this is the other uh, resistance that I'm looking at. If we actually break above this, very bullish. Uh, looks like the 100 million held and now things are just looking generally quite good for the crypto market actually um not maybe in the immediate future but in the close future um right now everything looks positive all right whether it works out that way nobody really knows for sure but it looks positive at the moment um so yeah uh the last thing i want to talk about is the bc trader the raven uh, rvn btc uh pair has got me about 22 percent uh, the BCH pair has got me about 6%, uh, and this is about 0.73%, um, but this hasn't actually traded. So this is just the crypto market generally going higher. 
Okay, so this is pretty much it for this video. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, I will try to upload a video more often now since that I've got everything back up and running again. Uh, I'm not going to be gone for another month, hopefully. Um, and of course, like it and share it if you haven't shared it. I'll catch you guys again on the flip side. Ciao.